Hello, welcome to this recording. This goes with week 10, which is the 31st of January 2021. And today we're turning towards the difficult, or at least, let's put it another way, we're learning just to sit and be with whatever arises um, when we're in the present moment. So being in the present moment with awareness, um, sometimes what arises is pleasant and sometimes unpleasant and learning how to meet both with the same open acceptance beginner's mind um, and also with a bit of gentle compassion maybe even learning how we can sit and turn towards difficulty and befriend difficulty um, and make it into the practice so life is the practice um, in our practice, we're not trying to analyze, we're not trying to fix, we're not trying to change anything. We're simply learning to be with what is here, um, in the moment, with whatever arises. And with this practice, we also want to keep in mind that we always have an anchor to come back to mm -hmm. if things become too unpleasant. Um, in fact, in this practice, um, you don't need to go looking for big difficulties. Uh, we can practice sitting with the difficult, um, even just if you've got a sore finger. Just practice what's it like to sit with that discomfort. Um, it might be a, a little thing like um, your dog's a bit whiny. And you're finding the noise a little bit annoying that can be the difficulty you work with it doesn't have to be something deep or troubling um, so do this practice as lightly as you want or go as deep as you want whatever feels right for you and in the practice we've always got the breath to come back to if you find that you're being lost in thoughts or you're going off in little stories, you've always got the breath to come back to and the body grounded. And that's always an anchor. And then you can use that to sit as the compassionate observer. And you can observe what comes up in the difficult, whether it be physical sensations that manifest themselves in the body, whether it be emotions, um, or whether it be patterns of thought but remembering always to be the observer we're not trying to fix anything or change anything we're simply observing what is here um, bringing a beginner's mind um, so no striving no aversion although those will arise because we're all human and when they do that's part of the practice, just to be aware that those are happening and then try letting them go, seeing how it feels just to come back to the breath and start observing all over again. So while we're observing, remembering not to engage. So looking out for patterns, maybe going, ah, oh, yeah, here's a worry or here's rumination or here's my mind going off on a little story um, here's compassionate thought they arise too in difficulty here's awareness of my difficulty whatever those patterns are just recognizing them and then let them go and you come back to re-exploring what's here in the moment so, the way that John Kabat-Zinn puts this um, in his mitigation retreat that he ran all through 2020 from March through June, mitigation retreat for people in COVID isolation and all the difficulties, every day he said, when you come across difficulty, put out the welcome mat. Um, it's a doorway into awareness so befriend the difficulty sit down with it um, 
that is the practice. But it's a difficult thing to say, well, okay, but how? How do we do this practice? Um, and really the answer is just with gentle curiosity. We're not here to try and fix the difficulty or analyse it, just simply to be with it, observe it, um, with a kind of playful curiosity. Just work the edge of it. Always uh, maintaining a sense of kindness, though. Um, if it gets too overwhelming or really too distressing, that's not that's not the practice. The practice is always just to stay as an observer. If you find yourself becoming really emotionally involved and distressed, that's the time to step back. Um, maybe go play some music. Maybe go for a walk. Maybe go do some cooking or some baking. Anything that's a physical activity that gets you out of your head and just into the physical sensations of being. And your body and your mind and your heart, they'll be processing things anyway, in their own way. And as with all things, everything has a beginning and an end. Everything has its own natural rhythm. Uh, and whatever is here right now, be it pleasant or be it difficult, this too will pass in its own way. And one day we'll be looking back on this as a memory. So working the edge. Um, if you are dealing with something simple, even if it's just a sore finger, uh, working the edge means looking for just the edge of your comfort zone. You can imagine this, I suppose, easier if you're thinking about doing a physical exercise and you're stretching and you get to that point where your body just can't stretch anymore. You know you've reached your limit. Um, you might also be familiar with the idea of you've got to the end of a working day and you know it's time to say, OK, now I'm going to finish working. Now it's time to go home. You've kind of reached the edge, the limit of uh, your working day. So in the meditation, we can also reach the limit or the edge of our comfort zone. And that is where the work takes place, working that edge, just seeing if you can step just a little bit outside your comfort zone and then observing what happens. What kind of physical sensations are there? Is there restlessness? Is there discomfort? Is there pain? Uh, but not pushing it to the point of real distress. Always finding out where your limit is uh, and just working around that in a gentle way um, to observe what comes up. Okay. Um, John Kabat Zinn sometimes talks about soap bubbles. And when soap bubbles are floating in the air and you touch them, they just vanish. And sometimes just sitting and observing the difficulties, they melt away. Um, in their own in their own fashion just by giving them a bit of attention and recognizing that they're there that's enough um, sometimes there's a bit of resistance though sometimes it can be difficult and there's that that quaint little expression you know what we resist persists um, it will sit there niggling away but you don't need to turn towards it until you feel ready so, um, everything has its own ebb and flow. And although the mind will judge, will always be saying this is good or this is bad, uh, maybe trying to just step back from those judgments and you know, recognize that they're there, but then say, okay, what would happen if I just explored this as an experience, neither good nor bad? Um, and that kind of brings us back to Shakespeare. You know, for there is neither good nor bad, but thinking makes it so. Um, what we were talking about the other week. Um, so what happens if instead of saying, ooh, this is difficult, I don't want to go there, you just say, ooh, this is an interesting experience. I wonder what happens if I just sit and observe for a while. Um, an opportunity for awareness for mindfulness and for a bit of practice. Um, 
So, what we're going to do today, turning towards the difficult, make sure that you choose something that you can work with in a meditation. Um, however, if you are really sitting with some overwhelming difficulty right now, maybe this is not a practice to be going into. Um, if you're sitting with real crisis, um, perhaps go look up. Uh, there are some really good crisis meditations out there based on the breath, a thing called whiskey breathing, um, which just helps you to slow the whole system down. There are also some very good uh, rescue crisis meditations online um, that will help you to talk yourself down and become more grounded. Um, and of course, remember that if you are really in distress, um, there are counsellors, there are active listeners and there are therapists um, that you can get in touch with to give you some proper counselling and support. But in mindfulness, this is more about just the normal ups and downs of life. Yeah, in every day, we'll come across things that are pleasurable. And in every day, we'll come across things that are just a little bit difficult. And this meditation is helping us to, to bring a bit of equanimity to that, a little bit of resilience um, and a new way of relating to the experiences of the moment. So, we're going to go into our meditation now, and as always, we need to think about our posture. So, in your posture, as always, you want to have uh, a posture that invites alert awareness. Not stressed, nice and relaxed. And you also want to bring a sense of stability, so making sure you've got your feet well grounded on the floor, that your body is secure in the chair that you're sitting on. You can also do this meditation lying down and then you're grounded on the surface that you're lying on. And for this, if we're turning towards the difficult, you might notice um, changes in temperature. So you might be comfortable perhaps with a, a blanket. Um, it's not going to be a long meditation. It's going to be Maybe about 20 minutes. Um, so, as always, we're going to start with either the eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable with you. And having found our posture, maybe just using a few mindful breaths to drop into awareness. And then taking that breath all the way down to the feet in contact with the floor or any parts of the body that are in contact with the surface. And using the next few moments really just to settle into an awareness of the body in contact and grounded. Any areas of pressure, and if necessary, maybe just wiggling the toes or shifting the body, really bringing awareness to the physical sensations of being grounded and secure. And then using the breath to breathe into different parts of the body, really just checking in to see how the body is. If 
beginning with the legs, just checking in for any areas of holding or tension. And breathing in to bring a bit of softness here. And then bringing the attention to the back pelvis spine and again checking in for any areas of holding or tension just bringing a softness to any that you find and from here checking in with the arms and the hands and the shoulders Breathing into these, just checking in with what's here. And finally, bringing awareness to the neck, the jaw, and the face, and perhaps just softening around the eyes and bringing a slight smile the mouth and now dropping attention into the breath and using this as a gateway into awareness sitting observing the breath wherever we feel it the strongest Exploring the physical sensations of the in-breath and the out-breath. Perhaps feeling this in the belly with the rise and fall of the abdomen. Perhaps feeling this in the chest with the expansion and contraction of the ribcage or perhaps even at the tip of the nose with the cool air going in and the warm air coming out remembering we're not trying to change anything we're not trying to adjust anything we're dropping into the compassionate observer, just watching as the body breathes all by itself. The mind wanders, for now just recognising that as a moment of awareness and with kindness just bringing the attention back to riding the rise and fall of the breath, just as if you were floating on the surface of the ocean with the rising and falling of the waves.
and to drop a little bit deeper into awareness, perhaps bringing a playful curiosity to exploring only the sensations of the in-breath and just following through each in-breath, each new breath, a new beginning. And now, perhaps, in curiosity, following the out-breath and seeing how that feels different. Each new breath, a letting go. And now, in a way that works for you, perhaps bringing to mind a difficulty that you've encountered. This can be a physical difficulty, as small as you wish. Perhaps there's an area in your body that's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. You could choose to explore that. Perhaps there's something in your environment, a noise or a distraction. You could choose to explore that. Perhaps there's something sitting in your mind, a little niggle from today. You could choose to bring this to mind. Really just choosing a difficulty as light or as deep as you feel comfortable with. And as you bring it to mind, remembering to stay focused in the sensations of the body and the breath. And just exploring how any thoughts and feelings and emotions connected to the difficulty might manifest themselves in the physical sensations of the body or the breath.
Perhaps there might be a restlessness. There might be a compulsion to move. There might be a resistance. If you have to move, that's okay. Just move mindfully, being aware of how that movement changes the physical sensations that are here. You could maybe even play with the movement and bring a little bit of mindful movement to exploring that area of discomfort. If you're aware of any thought patterns arising, just acknowledging these and recognizing them, maybe planning, analyzing. Maybe rumination. Maybe the mind inventing stories. Recognizing awareness of these as a moment of mindfulness. And having seen where the mind is gone, just letting them go. And coming back to awareness of this difficulty. And a friendly exploration of what arises. In this, always maintaining the role of observer, not engaging with the thoughts and trying not to engage with the emotions, simply observing. Being with what is physically present in this moment. And now, in a way that is right for you, opening up attention to the body in the room around you and opening awareness to sounds and thoughts in a kind of choice, choiceless awareness. And in this, if you still feel that difficulty present, just watching it from a distance But remembering you can always let it go and come back to the body or the breath or exploring the sounds and just let that difficulty go on its own way, let it do its own thing. Play with moving attention from different focus, the breath, the toes, the 
sounds around you. Bringing attention back to the body grounded, the feet on the floor, and the body in contact with the chair or the bed, safe and secure. And the breath, connecting all the parts of the body together. and the body connected to the space around you. Maintaining the position of compassionate observer. And if you find that you're engaged in thoughts, or off following little stories, just bringing the attention back to being with whatever sensations are here, the body, the breath, or the sounds around you. And maintaining your awareness as the observer, listening to this poem. The poem is called I Will Keep Broken Things and it's by Alice Walker. I will keep broken things, the big clay pot with raised iguanas chasing their tails, Two of their wise heads sheared off. I will keep broken things. The old slave market basket brought to my door by Mississippi. A jagged hole gouged in its sturdy, dark oak side. I will keep broken things. The memory of those long, delicious night swims with you. I will keep broken things. In my house, there remains an honoured shelf on which I will keep broken things. Their beauty is, they need never be fixed. I will keep your wild, free laughter, though it is now missing its reassuring and graceful hinge. I will keep broken things. Thank you so much. I will keep broken things. I will keep you. Pilgrim of sorrow. I will keep myself. I will keep broken things by Alice Walker. I will keep broken things. The big clay pot with raised iguanas chasing their tails. Two of their wise heads sheared off. I will keep broken things. The old slave market basket brought to my door I will keep broken things, the old slave market basket brought to my door by Mississippi, 
a jagged hole gouged in its sturdy, dark oak side. I will keep broken things, the memory of those long, delicious night swims with you. I will keep broken things. In my house there remains an honoured shelf on which I will keep broken things. Their beauty is they need not ever be fixed. I will keep your wild free laughter though it's now missing its reassuring and graceful hinge. I will keep broken things. Thank you so much. I will keep broken things. I will keep you. Pilgrim of sorrow, I will keep myself. <laughs>